Hey guys, it's been a while, and I don't really play games these days, and I, but I thought making videos is super fun, and uh, as is tradition, I suppose I should make this channel some kind of a react, laid back, possibly uh, very spicy. And uh, I got prepared the Global Happiness in this 2024. This is somewhat uh, close to my heart for some reason. <laughs> That's going to become apparent. So, oh, look at that. 30 Country Global Advisory Survey. Yeah, let's see what we have here. Key findings, sure. But we want to see the breakdown right from the get-go. Right, 30 country average. Apparently, if you live in the Netherlands, you're having a great time. And if you're living in Hungary, not so much. But South Korea is uh, trying to take the crown. Uh, apparently, I heard that uh, nobody's having kids there, so that's not the best. And Japan is uh, also trying to compete. Italy, apparently... Uh, you just get paid no money there, and everyone wants to leave. Not the best. Oh, what a breakdown here. So, let's see how things are progressing. Percentage happy. Hunger used to be 43% happy. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's kind of a country where if you, like, talk about depression, it's like, uh, well, we just talk about normal stuff, right? And apparently, over the time, it actually got happier. By five points. In uh, January 2024, <laughs> it's 48%. On, on the other on end, we got South Korea, who's uh, trying to take over the crown. And uh, Japan is kind of going down as well. Only really Netherlands is really dominating here. Is Netherlands that good? Would you guys take me? Okay. Uh, rest kind of in the middle of the pack. That's interesting that the breakdown of happiness and unhappiness is kind of, like, not really up to age. Hmm. Interesting. Under pressure? Okay. What's going on here? The baby boomers feeling control. Gen Z not so much. Okay. Okay, let's just see the breakdown. Too many pictures. So, overall, how satisfied you with each of following aspects of your life? My children? Okay. Well, I guess you're not gonna uh, crap talk about your children, right? Uh, that would be just not cool. And that kind of draws into the question of this whole survey in the first place, because, like, people are going to say things that make them sound bad, necessarily, right? Social and political situation in my country. Economic situation in my country. Yeah, we are poor and live under a dictatorship. That's pretty much it. That's a quote for that. Financial situation. That's the same thing. Romantic sex life. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you can have a romantic life with some, like, like a bag of pasta or something. Exercising. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Interestingly, you don't have necessarily the time to just exercise that much. Social status. <laughs> so basically, people are poor. And it sucks. Okay, people are sat not very satisfied. That's kind of the same thing. Family and friends, all right? Let's, let, let's check this out. So, my children, 30 country average. Wow. Indonesia, 94%. Malaysia, I'm kind of thinking here, like, are these countries drinking the Kool-Aid? Are they, like, having great lives? Or maybe they are, like, you know, religion is the copium of the masses, something like that? That's what I'm thinking here. Oh, Japan. Not satisfied with their children? Damn. India neither. Hungary? Top three. Yes. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up say not not satisfied. 21%. Respect. Respect. <laughs> I don't like you, kid. So, romantic sex life. Okay. Let's see what we have here. India apparently just fucking killing it. Only with Mexico. And that's not kind of the impression I got from India. Hmm. Apparently, well, based on the internet, you basically get the impression that uh, for every internship, you get like 10,000 people applying. And only the the guy who like did like, you know, like had like three masters, maybe have a chance, something like that. Maybe I'm not seeing it. Okay, at the bottom, apparently Japan is uh, kind of struggling. I guess it's really hard to uh, find the time if you don't have any. <clears throat> South Korea, it's kind of same, same boat. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> not great. So I mean, this kind of goes to show that I mean. A, Japan might have a very good reputation when it comes to 
on a global scale and it could be a good tourist location but people rarely value japan based on just living there no doubt japan has many redeeming qualities but i suppose the work-life balance is not one of them <clears throat> my friends okay i like the friends i don't <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god japan is leading big time damn it's very interesting because japan is the country where like tatamao so just like pretending to like other people is like big and apparently it's just not working everyone just hates it so something to consider something to consider south of africa anything that i would be netherlands i i guess i guess they're more direct here um uh, new zealand gb kind of too so interestingly i mean it kind of depends i guess but just the big pretending might not be might not lead to the biggest happiness but of course this could be just uh, correlated to not having time. <clears throat> my relationship with my partner's spouse. Okay. Thailand's just loving it. South Korea and Japan. Again. Good job. Respect. Just straight up say that you don't like him. Mm -hmm. Italy is kind of like making it there. I'm not really familiar with the uh, problems uh, plaguing Italy. Uh, uh, but, I, but I did hear things. Which I probably should not repeat. <clears throat> So, my relationship with my parents, siblings, and or cousins. Hmm. Okay. Interestingly now, in a Western perspective, you might just like, oh yeah, you leave so early, and like, you, you never talk to again. Maybe like, oh, Christmas say like, hey, what's up? And like, you know, I say, hey, what's up too? And like, maybe meet up, but that's pretty much it. So, Peru, Indonesia, Thailand, Mexico, Spain. Okay. Germany, Hungary, South Korea, Japan. Interesting. So, South Korea, Japan is low. Despite South, well, uh, collectivist culture might be uh, at least pretending to be, at least seem to be on the surface um, more embracing, but this could be just misleading. Hmm. Interesting. But this could be just a reflection of people just don't have time, right? I mean, it, it's really hard to have like this is just not having time is just the breath is gonna reflect on everything. Feeling loved. Huh? Colombia, Peru, India. Is this even thing? From uh, well, someone who spawned in Hungary, this is not really something that you really consider, I guess. I mean, just feeling loved is something that happens to children and to women, not to guys. You can have romantic love, but like just just being loved is is not acceptable. <laughs> but Italy and Japan, South Korea, good job, boys. Somehow you 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 nailed it. Japan not feeling love. Damn. Hmm. Japan is kind of brutal. If if you ever fall off, then you're basically hikikomori for life, and uh, good luck. And people are saying like, oh man, we want to get those guys back into the life, but like no, no, like then then treat them like uh. Uh, lepers and no one wants them so that's kind of bad very competitive okay thailand peru mexico india sure feeling appreciated steam steam potato who cares about this yeah hungry this is not a thing no one can. i mean at best you're gonna get insulted <laughs> japan is not feeling appreciated good job japan hilarious south korea right Thailand, Peru. But is Thailand so good? What's happening here? Is everyone just eating, drinking the Kool-Aid here? They're just coping super hard? I don't, I don't get it. This is just a great place. I mean, they're doing something right, I guess. So Thailand, Peru, and Mexico. Like, despite, okay, India too, apparently. Just, you, you feel appreciated. Mm-hmm. Well-being. And the... Over here, well, 36%, that's brutal, though. I mean, this is not even something you would consider in Hungary, I guess. I mean, you just have, like, do I have money and time, I guess? Well-being. Okay. I mean, you can get some exercise in, I, I suppose. Healing in control of my life. Uh, Indonesia? Yeah, South Korea and Japan at the bottom. These countries, again, collectivist. So, there are very heavy expectations placed on you. 
Mm. But other countries could be collectivist as well. Indonesia. Apparently everyone loves it. What is this? Thailand, India. Okay. Apparently you can be a poor country and uh, just just love it. Good to see. Hmm. Overall, how satisfied are you with each of the following aspects of your life? My mental well-being. Ah, I think about mental well-being that if people had the the means, right? The money, the time. I mean, probably the mental health crisis would just disappear. No doubt, some people uh, had a bad, have a bad hand. Yeah, have a bad hand in life. But otherwise, most people are just really suffering the circumstances of our reality. So, in the apparel of Mexico, apparently this is not a problem. Everyone's just loving it. <laughs> So at the bottom we got South Korea, Hungary and Japan. I mean Hungary is kind of standing out because like South Korea and Japan kind of like next to each other, I guess. But like just Hungary is just in the middle of uh, Europe and apparently it just it's in a completely different reality. <laughs> not great. My mental health being. Yeah. You you're not going to get much respect for this in Hungary. I I would argue maybe it got better. I don't know. I don't think you, you're gonna get much in Japan either. Uh, uh. I mean, my tip would be that if you have any mental health related issues, you just lie about it constantly. You you'd never want to expose that. You take that to the grave. It's better if you think you if they think that you're a little weird, than to say that you have some kind of problem. Because like, well, who's this weak bitch? They gotta be like that. So watch out. <clears throat> my physical health and well being. Okay, Indonesia and India. Wow. Is it? Okay, they're just loving it for some reason. <laughs> okay, at the bottom, Hungary, South Korea, and Japan. Good job. I love you guys. But this is kind of misleading. Are, are the Japanese people are just uh, big whiners? <laughs> because apparently they're, they have the one of the highest longevity worldwide. So this doesn't really check out, I'm thinking. Also, South Korea is doing pretty well as well. Hungary, even objectively, kind of have issues. So, who knows? And it, it drops down a lot. So, th these guys are uh, truly at the bottom. Hmm. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Hungary has some <clears throat> concerns. <laughs> even when you go to the... Well, I, this might be not okay to say, but I even mean, might the doctors not give you good advice? In some cases, that happened to me. So who knows? Or maybe they just completely give it up. It's like, oh yeah, whatever, man. Just uh, whatever. We're, we're dying here anyway. Okay, exercise, having uh, physical activities. I'm not claiming that this is uh, true for all. Just it could be true for some. <clears throat> Again, uh, a little bit giving up. Exercise, having physical activities. Okay, India, Thailand, Indonesia. Sure, apparently just loving it. Uh, if, if you're in Thailand, you just you just love it. You, you, you love it. As everything is great in your life, and apparently if you're... Oh, wow. Having physical activities in Japan <laughs> and Hungary. I mean, in Hungary, at least when I was... <clears throat> at least around the time I was spawned, like, just, just exercising, I was not super respected. I was just like, you could be just working, right? Japan, too. Hmm. Okay. My personal safety and security. Okay. I mean, that, that's gonna be okay. Okay, people are loving it. Worst in uh, Chile, Brazil, and Peru. Sure. Sure. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think Hungary is pretty okay in uh, security. Generally speaking. And uh, Indonesia, Singapore, Netherlands. Apparently, Netherlands is the big winner of this. So... Money and politics. Uh oh, be feeling free to do and say what I want. Uh, that's actually a very good question because you have negative freedoms and uh, positive freedoms, and what can you do really? You're like, oh yeah, you're so free. Free to what? To be a weight slave? So Netherlands is is loving it. So apparently Netherlands is the place to go if you can. If not, uh, I guess you can uh, sniff the Kool Aid on the like. Eat, drink the Kool-Aid on Thailand. If not that, then you can go to Hungary, Japan, and Turkey. Wow. Turkey is not loving it. 
Oh yeah, you you can say whatever you want in J in Hungary. Oh yeah, I guess in Japan, you would get you would get chained by others. There's like a very very uh of a collectivist culture kind of forces you to behave in a certain certain way. I don't know. In Hungary, you kind of you can't kind of say what you want. Probably not gonna matter. Oh, it's gonna matter. It's kind of different, right? Because if you say they're hungry, then people are just gonna, hmm, I'm gonna remember that and stab you in the back with it. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know about Turkey. But people can also be a little somber, so I'm, I'm not sure. I think you can say whatever you want in Hungary. Kind of. Kind of. It's not too bad. Social and political situation in my country. Maybe the, uh, the Hungarians are just uh, like divine. India, Singapore? Okay. Really? India. I, I heard that apparently in India, the, the current president is some kind of god and <coughs> must be nice. Must be the best guy. So, who's not uh, satisfied with the social and political situation at the bottom? <laughs> Hungary. Oh, nice. Ed, good job. Just, you just love to see it. Oh my, they even beat Argentina. You, you know, we are special that way. South Korea, Japan, they're just not happy. Hungary? Hmm. What's well, kind of in the name of the country? Should be named Hungary. <laughs> These things uh, get better. I mean, my... At least my... Take would be that it's not really worth... Getting caught in politics because it's pointless. I mean, basically, the only aspiration of the Hungarian people is just to leave Hungary. All right. Economic situation in my country. All right. <laughs> Good country average. India. Wow. Singapore. So apparently just uh, just coping helps. You can just uh, say some nonsense religion or whatever, caste system and like, whatever. You just tell people to believe nonsense. And it works out, and people are super happy with it. And, I don't know, is the economic situation in India that good? Or people just have a poor baseline? I mean, I guess it would be okay if you're happy with it, but, like, I don't know. I'm not sure I would be. And at the bottom we got Japan, Argentina, and Hungary. Argentina, understandably, blast, but we got Hungary too. Very great. <laughs> All right. It's, it's a kind of country where, damn, I shouldn't roast Hungary. Because I kind of wish the best for it, but even the food can be pretty pricey. Uh, which you might say, like, it's pricey in all countries, but, like, it, even relative to what you might be making, food can be pretty pricey. Anyway, basically, like, European prices with Hungarian salaries. Kind of like that. Financial situation. Okay. India? Pretty happy? Netherlands? So, apparently Netherlands is the best place to be, but India is, uh, is coping super hard. But if, th if that's not you, then you might not be enjoying it. And at the bottom, we got Hungary and Japan. Really. You're not happy. So, the 47% who's happy is either rich or uh, probably they're one of the religious folk. Uh, that kind of checks out. Mm hmm. Yeah, the thing is, people just need more money. And, and the world would work, work again, I, I, I suppose. At least work, would work better. <clears throat> News and information source to have access to? What? Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand? Just straight up constant propaganda? I don't think so. Yeah. You, you're happy with it? 59% happy? Oh yeah. Yeah, that really uh, comes back to the free speech. I like it. It's really good. Hmm. Turkey, Brazil, Italy, and Hungary is at the, bo at the bottom, right. I mean, it's not bad. I, I think the world has kind of changed in a way that in, in the past you only had access to like TV and like newspaper, and obviously that was not that great. But now you can go on the internet and uh, you can be free of it. So I'm not necessarily claiming that I, I, I know all of it and like maybe some of it is good. Just, I'm just saying that it could be possibly propaganda. And biased. A little bit. 
School, work, and quality of life. All right, let's go. My looks. Huh? How said? My looks? How satisfied I am with my looks? That's such a random question. What could be the relevance of this? Mexico, Indonesia? I think it could be how much of a dick others are. Because if you can be just a, just a guy in Mexico, they're like, okay, not a problem. You're like, I'm, I'm pretty happy. You can be pretty happy with your looks in Indonesia, India. Now let's see at the bottom. Hungary, South Korea, and Japan. Right. I mean, that works out. Because the thing is, people are colossal dicks about your looks. You know, they, you're just monkeys. They're like, oh, I like your face, or I don't like your face. That's pretty much the, one of the main ways we like to sort people. And you have the halo effect and the, the Satan effect. <laughs> Lucifer effect, I think. And uh, yeah, how how hot you are, I suppose, is really important. And yeah, apparently Japan, most of all. Yeah. But hungry too. Well, this kind of is a reflection of how competitive it is. But Hungary is a little bit different in this regard because these countries are collectivist. And this one is, well, it depends, but like it's more individualistic. I think it's eighty percent individualistic. Also, like big time crab in the bucket mentality. <laughs> All right, and look at that, ten percent below the next one. Really bad. Do we do the hunger just like love complaining? Who knows? My living conditions. Hmm. Great British. Great Britain. Okay. I say Great Britain is okay, but it's pretty pricey. Again, it's kind of like, um, almost like American prices, at least when it comes to houses with like European salaries. Not that great. It really comes back to like, do you have the money? Then yeah, you're going to have a good time. Other times, other way, uh, who knows? Maybe not. So, living conditions, South Korea, Turkey, Japan, and Hungary. Not loving it. <laughs> oh my god. Really comes back to that. Hmm. Yeah. Although, Japan is building houses. And I, I don't know Turkey. South Korea may be building houses. I mean, South Korea is uh, very concentrated in the, the capital. And Hungary basically forgot to build houses uh, since the fall of the communism. But who knows? <laughs> My material possessions? Oh yeah, here we go. How materialistic we are. But it could be a reflection of how rich people are. So Netherlands and Great Britain, uh, loving it. Pretty satisfied with that. I just kind of like a code for rich. Okay, let us let me check. Hungary. <laughs> yes. South Korea. Oh, good job, South Korea. You managed to beat Hungary in being materialistic. Good job. Turkey, yeah. Japan is apparently less materialistic. Hmm. Apparently, South Korea is just completely obsessed with luxury stuff. I, I think that just makes you a sucker. In a Hungarian context, that would just make you uh, labeled a fucking idiot. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so there you go. Overall, how satisfied are you with each of the following aspects of your life? Having access to being in touch with nature. You don't want nature. If you uh, can, can touch nature, that just means you are you are living in a, a I don't know a village or something. Maybe you can like have a, like a tree in your park, but you you don't you want nature as far away from you as possible. Mexico, Thailand, the Netherlands, pretty happy with nature. No, no, no. You you want to avoid nature. This is is this even a uh something people care about? Yeah, Japan, Hungary. Yeah, not in touch with nature, right? Okay, I guess, I guess if you want to be touching, be touching nature, then you might have to move out of the big cities. But if so, then you probably can't afford to live because that's where all the jobs are. So, uh, checkmate. Overall, how satisfied are you with each of the following aspects of your life? My level of education. Uh, Spain, Thailand, Colombia. Okay. These days, everyone just gets a college degree, right? Or like, I think a more important aspect 
especially uh, going forward would be how eagerly people are learning instead of like oh yeah let's let's send that guy into like a school and like uh let, let him sit there for like 30 or like hundreds of people and uh yeah that's we call that learning <sighs> hungary south korea and japan not satisfied and the the, the sad reality of schools that i mean you can go to a good school and that might be okay but for most people that will not be a reality so i mean the best option arguably at least, at least when it comes to the s tier it's either self-taught and eager self-taught or maybe like the best schools and that, that is the top top rank so how satisfied are you with your job more money South Korea, Japan, yeah. Italy, sure, 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 sure. All right. Mexico. Apparently, people just like loving Mexico for some reason. Are you just supposed to say, yes, I'm super happy about everything? Or something like that? I don't know. It just seems a little random, but sure, good to see. Overall, how satisfied are you with each of the following aspects of your life? I mean, aren't a lot of Mexicans trying to, like, escape up? to the US at this point it's kind of hard hmm because I mean before you would have said like oh yeah I want to go to the US because like you know the money is there but also like if you go there without the money then yeah you're probably gonna end up in a coffin that's rough so unless you go there with some skills you might be just like yeah it's not looking grim uh, it's not looking that great at least at this point I, I think the the perception a little bit shifted that like us was possibly the 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 dream country to go to but now it's more like europe although maybe not even that <laughs> who knows some country in europe my co-workers okay they are my enemies may thy knife keep and shatter <laughs> hungary south korea and japan right right that's fine. They're fine. Okay. Overall, how satisfied are you with each of the following aspects of your life? The amount of free time I have. No, more free time. That's what I would love. Please. Italy, Hungary, and Japan. Right. At the, at the bottom. Good job. Please. I need more free time. More money and more free time. That's all I wish for. Entertainment, the leisure activities I have access to. That's interesting because the the... People might not even have time. I mean, the the old school strategy is to is bread and circuses, but people might not even have time for the circus. Right? So Hungary, South Korea, Attila, and Turkey and Japan at the very bottom. Yeah, that's that kind of checks out because I've read a study that it's ideal to have like at least like two hours of uh, entertainment every day, else you'll get a burnout. But it might be ideal to have more, like like to five hours. <clears throat> But the point is, you might start going a little crazy if you um, skip it. You just do the same thing like 14 hours a day for like months. You can try it, but I would not recommend it. Unless you really love it. My religious faith or spiritual <laughs> life. <laughs> Indonesia, Thailand, South Korea, South Africa. Okay, so it, it does show that uh, religion is uh, kind of like doping the masses here a little bit, a lot. Malaysia, Peru. Okay, let, let's just see at the bottom. Hungary is a little bit religious, and you can be religious, I suppose. South Korea, Japan. Okay. Well, they are very agnostic countries, I suppose. Although they have a rise of some cults uh, lately, I guess. They might be getting more religious, which I'm not sure it's a good thing. I wouldn't say that. Who knows? But also, you wouldn't really. Uh, say that you wouldn't even consider this criteria if you, if you don't care about religion, right? But I guess if you don't have time for, then you don't have time for religion either. Although you can like, oh yes, God, please help me. And then like, you know, in decades, nothing got better. So, not that great. <laughs> Methods, okay. Good job. So, the summary of this is that apparently the Netherlands is the best place to be. Otherwise, you might need some kind of beliefs or um i guess religion being be the top one which can give you like a um some kind of social life 
along with some um, happy clips, I guess, maybe. <laughs> and South Korea, the way they're going, they're going to overtake Hungary, I think. It, it looks like it. Because apparently they're not even having kids. And just Hungary is just special. Although, I do have one extra. Okay, so what is the Hungarian mentality? I'm Polish, I'm very curious about Hungary, even though there were political tensions recently, but I want to know what Hungarians think about themselves and what is the mentality there. I can say that Poles are often neurotic and at times fatalistic. I mean, Poland is the birthplace of the, the Bojek guy on the internet. So let's just see how Hungary compares. A community that among many Hungarians is a sense of somberness and nostalgia, one with often have expressed discontent about past events, present conditions, or doubts about their own future. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Right now. Sure. Hungary is a mecca of negativity, jealousy, victim mentality. Everybody's busy with someone else's life, but never with their own life. Miserable. <laughs> Sam. Come on, man. The only issue is self deprecation and having inferiority syndrome. Is a national sport here, as you can see in this comment as well. We think everybody's better than we are. This toxic mentality is what really ruins the country. Yeah, there's little no hope there. Yeah? That's where you would say hope is cope. It's true. <laughs> no. To sum it up, I see ourselves, pe people here seem to believe Hungarians are the most sane and reasonable people in Europe. Yeah. I mean, kind of like being neg negative can give you uh, the impression that you're realistic. And you could be. At least in the Hungarian context. We have massive egos and sincerely believe that we have full understanding of global. I don't know. Are you sure about this? People are a bit more. I'm just, I'm just verifying that negative people tend to think themselves more rational. Being constant, pessimistic, critical of everything, and victims of circumstances never are doing a sick of it. <laughs> we are very similar to Polish people, just a bit more depressed. Bojack 2.0. We love to complain about everything, but we are too lazy to do anything about it. <laughs> Most of us are depressed. GG. Depression, deep melancholy, money, greed, jealousy. We love to complain about our problems. Depression, drugs, smoking, stuffed cabbages. That's the best sums it up I say. <laughs> we hate everybody. Okay, that, that's it. Apparently, I, I consulted the Hungarians online. Now, I don't mean to, mean to uh, point, I mean, paint Hungary in a bad light. I truly want uh, the best for hungry so anyway and uh, the world maybe maybe we can learn from this uh global happiness ranking and do better next year